safe to say we've probably all heard of tofu, but what about its fellow soybean-based cousin, tempeh? There are many people who swear by tempeh as an even more tasty and versatile meat substitute, including the founder of a new company that's in Biddeford. Steve Vinnick has this week's Made in Maine. I just felt like more people need to know about this as they're reducing their consumption in meat, either for their health or the health of the planet. Sarah Spear has known tempeh for decades. A longtime vegan, she launched her Tootie's tempeh in late 2022. It's a superfood. It's so nutritious and full of protein fermented so it's really good for your digestion. It's got high iron, more fiber than an apple. This superfood dates back more than 400 years to Indonesia. And though the natural organic ingredients of soybeans and vinegar appear seemingly so simple. A very small amount. When we inoculate it with the culture, which is Rhizopus algosporus, is, this, is the variety of the mushroom. There is actually a lot of natural science that goes into formulating the final product. The soybeans, once milled, boiled, and spun, they are inoculated with a tiny dose of fermentation-inducing mushroom powder, essentially the catalyst in creating tempeh. Over a period of time, with the high heat, the humidity, and the low airflow, it grows mycelium and it goes through the beans and creates a cake, basically binding all of the beans together. Those production details Sarah is happy to share. Others remain a guarded proprietary secret. And it's important um, to keep it a secret because we're the first to do it. Sarah says it took three years of research to develop her way to do the fermentation process. She says most commercial tempeh makers use small plastic bags. Tootie's promotes a plastic-free, though undisclosed, alternative. When I found out that this incredible superfood that I wanted to, to make and turn into a company was fermented in plastic, I felt like, wow, what a disconnect. You know, there's something so healthy in such an unhealthy way of being. So this is the tempeh. <laughs> All science and secrets aside, the folks here at Tootie's simply tout their tempeh as one very tasty and versatile meat substitute. It takes on flavor really well. You can slice it, dice it, crumble it. I just, just last night, I actually put it into a carbonara. It was really good. Really good taste, healthy benefits. All the reason Sarah Spear figured people should know about tempeh. But it's really becoming more popular now with people being more concerned about the health of the planet, for one, around animal agriculture and their own health. 